What's up, everybody? Provis here with another episode of Magic Duel's Battle for Zendikar, and I'm in the mood. I am so in the mood, and I'm not saying that just because Valentine's Day showed up. I am saying that because I am genuinely interested in spending some very quality time with you. Not just you. Uh, our, our, our favorite game. This is... I, I actually... I hope this isn't your favorite game, because this is not my favorite game, but I do really like this game. <laughs> Let's see, what am I playing right now that I actually would consider my favorite game? Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm lying. It is magic. It, it might not be magic duels, but it is definitely magic. I'm, I'm totally into magic. <laughs> magic the Gathering, everybody. Paper magic, of course. Uh, MTGO is still not my absolute top tier. Not even sure if it's better than this. It might be better than this. But this game, you can play... A lot more cards for a lot less money. Uh, I, that's not even a word. Can't pronounce your name, bruh. Opponent plays first. Fucking fantastic. Look at this hand. Well, that's a keeper Rooney, isn't it? Fuck it. Let's keep it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, you get a free mulligan in this game. But so what? Let's pretend you don't. And that's keepable today. Today. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. That's it. Actually, it should have been the Evolving Wilds. It definitely should have been the Evolving Wilds. I don't know why I didn't put down the Evolving Wilds. That was... Misplay number one. Damn, I mean, I mean I've been, I haven't I have played this game in a while. I have been playing a lot of uh, Warframe, Crusader Kings, and... Um, Elite Dangerous, actually. I've been really enjoying those games. Uh, and I even got an account with... Um, old Star, Star Wars The Old Republic garbage, which might, which honestly kind of blew me away. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the mirror. Uh, wait, this isn't the mirror. Is this the mirror? This is, this is Kithian. What, why am I, you know why? Because I saw it as a, uh, I saw it as a foil. And it looked like my foil. Uh, well, turn one Kithian. He does have indestructible, right? I think that has indestructible. Uh, no, he can gain indestructible, and you will absolutely choose to give that indestructible if you, if I blocked. Maybe I should have blocked, because that would have eaten up his turn, because now he's got another card, but that card isn't really that relevant. Let's really hope I don't get another land, because this was, this was really a dumb thing to pick up. <laughs> this hand. Oh, and that's, that's why I'm the dumb one, and you're the smart one. Uh, I might as well swing in. Let's just start exiling things of his. Might as well. Might as well. I mean, at least I have more power on the board than him now. Well, after I, I cast my Nettle Drone, of course. What the hell is that? What did we get? What did we get? Uh, from Beyond. Oh, glad I got rid of that. That would have been coming down this turn. If he has a land. Does he not have a land? Oh, maybe he didn't have a land. He's playing four colors. <laughs> hey, four colors, a little bit of everything. Got a whole bunch of Eldrazi tokens. Got a Planeswalker in here. Oh, is he playing Super Friends? He might be playing Super Friends. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I, I hear my cat using the litter box. Oh, he did have it. Okay, Acid Moss on me. That's fine. I, I can totally handle an Acid Moss, bro. Totally handle the Acid Moss. I can handle acid mosses all day, every day. Uh, yeah, I'm swinging in. Swinging in for everything. Chump block the three one, I guess. Yup, makes sense to me. Let's uh, let's put down the mountain in case he has another acid moss, and then he sees that I have uh, islands. Um, in short supply, and then maybe he'll want to uh, pop the mountain. Oh, wait, wait, no. He'd want to pop the island. That's what I'm trying to say. Ugh, oh, whatever. Alright. Do that at end of turn. Try not to forget that trigger, because I know I will forget that trigger. Oh, I know I will. Uh, not sure if he's going to swing in or not now, because I got seven power on the board. Alright. <clears throat> Un unfazed by seven power. Wants to keep smacking me for two. Understandable. Understandable. And he's going to drop his uh, second blocker here. Not sure what that's going to be. 
He's got five fucking mana. That's plenty. <laughs> that means that means it's gonna be something big or nothing. Nothing's good or something big or two things. Two small things. One big thing or nothing. Come on, man. Or just wait me out. There it is. A shitty little chump blocker. Not really. Don't really care about that. I do care that he, he gets more mana, and then that's his land for turn two. So that's what he was counting up. He was, he was seeing, yeah, yeah I, I got you, bro. I, I know what you were doing. All right, GG. Uh, definitely going to be flipping a Kithian. Did not forget the trigger. Very proud of myself for that. I definitely deserve a medal because that is something I am not good at doing. Hey, look who's on time. How is it, dude? All right. Okay, so if I... Ooh. 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 What should I do? Should I swing in with the one-two? And have him double block and lose a guy? Have him double block and lose a guy. How many, how many creatures does this need to have attacking in? Two? At least two others. So he can still swing in for that dude and that dude. And yeah, I guess it's actually not worth swinging in. So I won't. I'll just drop my own little Whirler Rogue. He will probably flip his Gideon. Probably. And then I'll just pass turn. I'll just pass turn and do two damage to you, unless I forget the triggers, which is a very, very real possibility, sir. 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 I might forget the triggers, sir. You know what? My mic is not quite facing me. I'm just going to touch it up just like that. And I know you don't hear a, a difference at all, but I feel the difference. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Man, so uh, Eternal Masters just got announced uh, a few days ago. A few days ago. A few, few days ago. Was it Monday or Tuesday? I don't remember. And uh, I'm really into it, man. $10 a pack seems complete bullshit, but you know what? It, I, I'm really waiting for the rest of that <clears throat> spoiler list. And once that comes out, man, I'm I'm probably going to be jumping on a, on a few of those. Maybe I can even go Hadsies on a box with one of my friends to cut that price down a bit. Hopefully it'll be worth it. I don't. I have no idea. Uh, should be fun. I I'm I'm not able to contain my 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 excitement. <laughs> uh, just bought a bunch of uh, new cards in preparation for uh, a bunch of people spilling into vintage because of the set being released. Uh, just letting you know, a, a lot of wow. Yeah, he is. He's definitely doing the Super Friends deck, isn't he? <laughs> he's totally doing it, dude. Uh, and now he's got two Planeswalkers. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. So now he can untap. Well, oh, no, 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 no. See, I would have thought he did that. He would have done that after combat. Because now he all he did was untap a, a vent, a shambling vent. Not sure if that's the best way to do it. All right, so he's obviously just interested um, in flipping Gideon. Uh, Gideon is not indestructible right now. Oh, no, that's what... He, oh, I see, I see. that He left it open to keep Gideon indestructible, I see. Ah, that's why he did it pre-combat. That's because you're a smarter person than I am. Should I throw one in here? Not really, because these these are the guys who are going to be going after... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. And then bump him up to four. I can only hit you for a few. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Whatever. Um, deal a damage. And let's see. Let's see. I could bring him down to two and then definitely take him out. And it's not like I'm doing a whole lot uh, to this guy. He is at 17, so I think it is actually better to do two damage to his Planeswalkers. 
Hey, didn't get a land. All right. Nice. Super duper. Uh, cause I mean, this is five damage to him, but I really don't want all those planeswalkers fucking around. So let's, uh, let's see, let's go to combat. Let's go to combat and threaten to take out his planeswalkers. Let's threaten that. And he'll probably block one of my Thopters with his Thopter. To try to keep Gideon alive. Oh, no, the other one. Okay. Interesting. Didn't didn't think that. But alright. Does that thing have indestructible? Did I did I fuck up? Does that thing get indestructible? Yup! Until next turn. Son of a bitch. Wow, why would you block like this? That's dumb, then you can't even kill one of my creatures. Yeah, no, dude, kill one of my creatures. Like, what? <laughs> I don't know why you're picking that one. Pick the one that's gonna kill Gideon. Are you having trouble? Are you slow? <laughs> what the hell did he do? All right, whatever. I mean, you lose your planeswalker. No matter what's. Uh, yep. Boop. Actually, another another opportunity to have dropped Evolving Wilds was just missed there. Unfortunately, I feel like this is the perfect deck to go up against Super Friends. Also, that block was awful. I, I don't think anyone can deny that. Alright, do I want to do this pre-combat, uh, pre-passing the turn? Um... Reveal up to four cards in your library. Do I care about that? Like not a whole lot, but I'm gonna t I'm gonna pop it off just in case. Actually, I probably could have saved that last one, but fuck it. Now, now, just less options the better, I think, right? And I mean, what? It's not like those guys are gonna block the one one, <laughs> right? <clears throat> This is the perfect deck to go up. Literally everything on the field is good at taking out Planeswalkers. <laughs> I have the perfect deck to uh, to go up against the Super Friends. And he's totally Super Friends. He's all five colors, and he's, he had at least two Planeswalkers, so I'm sure he's got the other ones in, in game. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame. Board wipe. Board wipe. And there's Jace. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alrighty. You got me. You got me good, son. Son done. Yeah, 17 to 11. This is not going well. And especially if I keep drawing lands. If I get flooded out, like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna lose. That's how this game goes. Oh, this is gonna be a long and drawn out game, you guys. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize to you right now because holy crap. Let's talk about other games. Let's talk about Warframe. I love Warframe. Warframe is a free-to-play game. It's essentially Diablo um, 2. I haven't actually played Diablo 3, but Diablo 2 is very similar to Diablo 1. Very, very similar. So if Diablo 3 is as similar to Diablo 2 as Diablo 2 is to Diablo, then Warframe is pretty similar to Diablo <laughs> to, uh, 3. <laughs> that was complicated, needlessly so, but eh, screw it. Screw the world. I'll say what I want. Oh, and you get a creature too. No fair, man. Let's just pop this guy off right now and get a who cares. Whatever whatever land is first, that's that one. That 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 one right there. Does absolutely does not matter. Um Yeah, Warframe, it, it's pretty grindy, but um I'm enjoying it. Uh it you know, you little reward every day for getting in there and screwing around and dicking off and all sorts of other crap. I think it's fun. I honestly am having a good time with uh, Warframe. Um, very well designed. Like, n maybe not from a gameplay perspective, but, but from an aesthetic perspective. Holy shit, everything is sex. Just, what a sexy game. Characters are, like, completely alien and freaky, and everything's twisted and messed up. It's amazing. I love it. 
I love games where you like go in there and everything's just like massive discovery. Like, what the hell is this? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, this guy talks weird. Uh, it, games like that are just so goddamn awesome. I love it. I just, just fucking love it. Um, so yeah, I've been having a, a, a real fun time with it. Uh, I did pay for a few uh, uh, whatever in-game currency is. I put in like about 20 bucks to the game. And that gave me a little boost. Uh, I'm a little more hesitant to put in more. But, um... I don't know. I, I've been... I don't... Um, after that, I, I had a bit of a slowdown. And it didn't really, like, pick up. Because it was like, new thing, new thing, new thing, new thing. And then I discovered, like, more than 80% of the game. And then it really, like, kind of hit a wall. And it's like, okay, now I... The, the discovery phase of the game is, like, over... And now I'm into the grindy part of the game, and I'm a little less into it right now. But I still try to log in, do a couple missions every day, just, you know, just to enjoy myself. And uh, that, that's kind of where I'm at right now with that game. With this game, I'm uh, I'm slowly getting whittled away. If uh, if I draw a land, I'm just, I'm just going to snap leave. In fact, if I don't draw an answer at all, I'm just going to snap leave because... Honestly, this guy's playing one of the slowest. I mean, it's a fun deck. I love him for playing it. It's awesome. But unfortunately, this is just going to take forever. And I don't honestly want to just sit here and dick around all goddamn day. Yeah, that's not really enough for me. I mean, I, I could do shenanigans and stupid things, but this is just dumb. Let's just get into another game. Something a little faster, a little more interesting, because that was just going to go on forever. <laughs> Guys... Guys, he was just doing two damage to me a turn. And I would have been doing one damage to him. He would have gotten me, eventually, I think. I don't... Because he had two Planeswalkers down, and... And they were prop... They, they weren't that close to ultimating. But, uh... He had a lot of options, and I had extremely few options. So... I'm gonna walk away. Walk away in hopes for, for a better tomorrow. <clears throat> Woo! Guys, I don't. I don't you like waiting, waiting for games to, to launch. God damn it! I hate. Oh no, no, this is an actual avatar. Maybe the guy actually liked this avatar, and he just put it in a different background to let you know, like, hey, I'm not that lazy, but I just really do like this avatar. This is the default avatar. I'm sorry for that, but I'm still gonna play him. All right, I can totally get behind that. I'm totally okay with this dude. Uh, honestly, that last game was totally my fault. I should not have kept a, 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 a hand that I, I I kept. It was obviously retarded, but I did it anyway. Uh, the wrong play was the play that I made. So I'm def and, and the other guy didn't do anything wrong. I think uh, other than one particular block, which was kind of weird, where he blocked a two one instead of a one one with his one one, which was kind of unusual. Didn't, don't know if I like that. Alright, we're up against uh, Selesnia evolving something. So it's gonna evolve, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Evolutionary Leap, right? Not, I was gonna say Evolving Wilds, and I kept on thinking in my head, like, that's not right. It's not Evolving Wilds. What the hell is this? Uh, okay. Okay. Next turn will probably be Benthic Infiltrator because it can profitably block that guy even if he gets pumped up to a 3-3. Or I could just kill it now. That's another option. Now that I think about it. Um I, I, I kind of prefer <clears throat> I kind of prefer Benthic Infiltrator. So that's what I'm gonna drop. Um, leave this Touch of the Void open, because even if he does somehow remove my Benthic Infiltrator and get in for three, uh, or get in for two, uh, as a three, three, I can still probably destroy him. Probably? Uh, I wonder what kind of trick he has. If he has it, I want him to drop it, because I do have another Benthic Infiltrator. And that is not a trick. That is not a trick, and that is a much better target for uh, for this. <laughs> much better target. Much, much, much better. And I actually can't really attack right now, which is kind of poops. Plus, this guy's uh, got to land every turn. I'm kind of stuck on three. Uh, and there's a legit Gideon. Fuck. 
Uh, you could plus one right now. But that would kill him, so I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more... Uh, actually, I would have plus one him. I would have... Uh, dunno. Dunno. Dunno, dunno. It's weird. Don't know what I would have done. Uh, but I do know... I'm in the mood for a nettle. Nettler is not a bad response. Um, do I swing in or not? Fuck it, I won't. I'll let him. I'll let him go. I'll let him go. We'll see where we can go with this. Let's. Oh, he's gonna smack me for five because I'm gonna let that through. Totes my goats, letting it through. Uh, he needs another defending creature in order to swing all in. Yeah, I'm not stopping that. You go ahead. You go ahead and take me to 15, sir. Look at all the crap he's got. Just for me. Uh, I'm going to call this probably a loss, too, since he has so much better tempo than me. Hey! Well, I mean... I could do things. Could. Should. Do. Alright. Let's knock that down a little. Uh, keep a blue open. Untapples. Hmm. God damn, I feel like I'm never going to get to the five mana necessary for this, but it's only, it's only, t it's like, it's just a runner runner away, you know? Uh, gonna do this pre-combat, or a pre-passing turn. God, should I use the Clutch Occurrence on that token? I feel like I shouldn't, you guys. I feel like that would be dumb. What's he gonna hit me for, really? Not much. Not enough, right? Right? Not enough. Ugh, this is not good. This is not good for me. I'm in trouble. I'm probably not going to get through this, actually. And I think I'm going to leave it at two games, too, because uh, these have been so slow. Holy crap. Oh, that's a weird attack. Uh, I guess it's not that weird, actually, because I can only stop one of it. Yeah, okay. Wild sides, you got it, son. Oh, he wants to he wants to race me. Oh, yeah, that's why he wants to race me. Should have seen that shit coming. Is that game? Oh, totes. Definitely totes. All right. Well, okay, that was actually fast. So maybe we can do it uh maybe we can do one more game. That wasn't so bad. That was fast. I like fast. Fast is good. All right, getting absolutely slammed out here, you guys. Planeswalkers everywhere. And uh, I have no real good answer. Well, that's not true. I have tons of good answers for Planeswalkers. Uh, he just out out tempoed me, man. Um, went second, lost, uh, missed a land drop. Did I miss two land drops, actually? Yeah, no, nah, he, he just... He had just better a better hand than me. Way better hand than me. And he drew way better than me, too. Well, not, maybe not way better, but much better than I did, which was not, <laughs> which was shit, shit better. I was thinking about dropping in on two games because we're definitely pushing, uh, we're definitely starting to push 30 minutes because this is, this is taking a while, but that last game wasn't so bad, so we, we, we can do it again. We can do Captain, Captain Leaf, Captain Leaf Tattoo Face, Braided Beard Man, who, who wears golden ceremonial armor in the woods. What what the hell is this? Dude. Uh, I like this hand a lot, and I go first, so I actually have a chance of winning. Alright. Let's do it, guys. Mm, let's do it. Oh, uh, let's let's and by do it I mean uh, let's let's pass turn. Let's pass priority. Not 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 doing so well today. Today not doing uh, we're doing pretty bad actually. Very poorly. Bad day. Definitely need the island. Island turns on my World of Rogue on turn four, which I can now actually pay for. 
Uh, Tide Drifter will be nice. Beefs up uh, pretty much everybody other than Whirler Rogue. It'll buff up my uh, Thopters and my Benthic Infiltrator. We are up against Red Green. I'm guessing this is either Landfall, or maybe it's the Ramp deck, or maybe it's that super cool combo burn deck. Don't know. I do know I can't attack or do anything. So it's Eldrazi Sky Spawner all the way, because that puts three power on the field, whereas my Benthic Infiltrator only puts one power on the field. Next turn, yeah, why am I attacking with 05? Next turn, absolutely Whirl a Rogue. And then I guess I'm just swinging in. I mean, I'm swinging in next turn two for three. Unless he... Two, T-O, four, three. T-O-F-O-R-T-H-R-E-E. -E. Sorry. I, that, that seemed very, very confusing. Oh, why don't you have haste? Mmm. Damn. You think he's got a board wipe or something? Why did I swing with the 05? <laughs> because it's easier? Damn, Vile Aggregate. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, man, make it happen. Live in the dream. Let's do it. Don't know if you can hear that. That is my cat jingling his shit behind me. Put a bell on him because he's hard to uh, find. <laughs> he likes to hide, that little dick. Oh, man, what a pain in the ass he is, honestly. Uh, well, you know, I mean, I'm going to win if you don't play anything. So, shit, dude. Come on. Do something. Do something, buddy. Something? Anything? You got you got plays. You just dropped a white source, anyway. Trader's Instinct. What, am I 4-6 to turn it into a 3-5? <laughs> 3, because it, uh, it retains 1, because he controls exactly uh, one colorless creature. And it gets plus two from his, uh, from the Traitor's Instinct. And he ingests pretty much nothing. So that absolutely was embarrassing. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Six damage from the, uh, the Vile Aggregate. Plus an extra three from everybody else. Let's make it happen. And an extra zero from my Tide Drifter, because fuck you! <laughs> I will put down this uh, Foundry of the Consoles. If I get a land, uh, I might pop him. I might pop him. Pop it, tap, tap. Pop it, get an extra two. No, 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 actually. What the hell am I talking about? No, I will not ab I will not pop him. Uh, I wonder if this guy was thinking that, he w that my Vile Aggregate was going to be the same size as something. I, I feel like he's going to leave soon. Four damage to my Whirler Rogue. Okay. The only thing worth getting in your range, I guess. I, personally, I would have gotten the uh, Sky Spawner. But, uh, whatever. Um, can we even him? Sick? Yeah, absolutely. Yup. <clears throat> yup. Six, seven, eight. Boom. That'll be game, sir. Wow. You're annoying as hell. Zan, 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 Zan. Sorry, man. Uh, I know it happens every now and then. Definitely happened to me a couple times. Let's open a pack. Uh, I just got enough. Holy crap. Achievements. Achievements. That was my first win of the day. That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, what am I doing? Zenikar, right. What the hell is this? Oh, because I don't have... Oh! Is this because... What? What? what wait, what? What? How come I can't open 43 packs? Am I, am I like, nearing maximum... Maximum package? Oh, that sounds that sounds like a like a male porn star, doesn't he? Maximum package. Hey, another sky spawner. That's definitely going in the deck. Uh, Retreat to Ameria is awesome. Rising Miasma is awesome. Stone Fury is pretty damn good. Scatter to the Wind is interesting. I'd like to play it. What the fuck? This pack is great. <laughs> why why didn't they spread the goodness of this pack into like the twenty previous packs? of shit that I've been opening. That's a great pack. Holy crap, man. Oh, what a pain. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to record the next episode right now. So, uh, good luck out there. Have fun.